What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so... We have a trade, guys. Yeah, believe it or not, we have a trade. And, uh, well, in our last episode, we went through our fifth gym battle against Norman, our father. And yes, he kind of kicked our butts a little bit, but... I think we learned our lesson. Anywho, in this episode... We are now enabled to surf, and there is a Pokemon that I've been wanting to use on my team for quite some time. The only problem is that, well, we won't be able to get to it until we obtain another special item. So why wait? So in this episode, I'm going to be trading in Pokemon, uh, I'm going to be trading in Pokemon, uh, what was it called, uh, Ruby. And, let's see, hold on just a sec, I'm actually, uh... Talking to the people, and yes, we're going to be trading for Pokemon Ruby, or with Pokemon Ruby right here. If you guys remember a few episodes ago, I mentioned that we are, um, I did play po Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby just to catch up to this one right here. That way we can start trading Pokemon, and I believe our first trade was with Pokemon Sapphire. That was Dalsim and... Uh, that was Dulcim and Hadouken. And in this one right here, we're going to be trading in Pokemon Ruby. That way, we can mix and match any kind of uh, any kind of records that we may have right here. So, if you guys can't tell, the last Pokemon that I want to trade is usually the one that I want. And as you guys can see right here, we're going to be trading Goldeen for a Carvana right here. Why a Carvana? I'm just asking, okay? So Carvana, you can't get you can't get until you get a good rod or a super rod. And yeah, we, we it's gonna be a while before we can even get one of those Pokemon. So might as well get one right here. As you probably already saw, it does have a very good moveset. It has crunch and everything, and it's already at level 32. I am excited. I am very, very excited because it's both a water and dark type Pokemon. Now, I know many of you guys have been uh, telling me, Hey, Draven, go ahead and use this Pokemon. Go ahead and find this Pokemon. Well, guess what, guys? Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Because right now, I kind of want to use this guy. Again, most of these Pokemon I'm using probably won't be on our team very long. And, uh, well... Look at that. We have now gotten... A good old buddy, Jaus. Both water and dark type. Has the ability Rough Skin. And it is at level 32. Caught it at Route 118 with a Super Rod. And it is equipped with something. I did give it something just so it could help us out in our adventure right here. As you guys can see, it has some really good stats, but its defense, its physical defense is really, really bad. So once it evolves, hopefully it just gets better right there. But as you guys can see, it does have some pretty good moves right now. Just wait for it. I'm just saying. Just wait for it. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Uh, right after we get our team, you know, acclimated and all that stuff. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So, here it is. We got Joust. And what did it, what exactly did we, equip, or did we equip it with? We got the TMO2, which many of you guys already know is Dragon Claw. And, uh, yeah, we won't be able to get this TM until, you know, way, 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 way later on. So... Let's go right ahead and give that to Hadouken, because we're going to be needing this move. And is it a waste of a TM? No, it isn't. Come on, guys. You know me. So, let's go ahead and take away its focus energy attack. And let's go right ahead and bam, Dragon Claw for the win. Now, another thing, too. In our last episode, we finally were enabled to get the Surf Technique. And this right here gives us a chance to use Joss right there and then. So let's go right ahead and take away another move. Let's go ahead and take away its, uh, let's see. Hold on just, okay. You know what, let's go right ahead and take away its takedown attack. Don't necessarily need it right now. So there we go. S yes, surf attack for the win. And uh, well, now that we got surf and now that we can surf, let's go right ahead and take advantage of surf. And let's go right here, surf attack. Look at that, okay. And bam, we found ourselves a max revive. Oh man, I'm gonna be using the crud out of Jaws. Now many of you guys are like, well what about when you get fly? Do not worry guys, when we get fly, we got a little something uh 
We, we got a little something planned now. Hopefully we, hopefully we won't be needing fly as much. And well, here we have another spot where you can find a secret item. There you go. Found yourself in ether, and we're gonna be going right here, and. We're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon, obviously. For the first time ever, we're getting it attacked on the sea, and there is a Meryl wanting to attack us. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna speed... Well, we're gonna get away from this right here. There is one more thing that we need to grab, and it is right here. Found ourselves a rare candy. Okay. Didn't really take as much time, but... It's probably a good thing that I, I researched this, but now that we have a rare candy, let's go right ahead and use it on Joust. Oh yeah! And... Look at that. Joust. Is finally evolving. So there it is, guys, after one... Full minute. Yeah, probably. One full minute. Joust is finally evolving into its final form. The ever-fast, the ever-scary Pokémon. Joust the Sharpedo. Look at this guy. Sharpedo. Holy crud. You know, for the longest time, I always thought that Carvana and Sharpedo were its two separate Pokemon. I never actually thought that Carvana evolved into Sharpedo. That was the funniest thing ever. So as you guys can see, Sharpedo is now learning a new move, and that is Slash. So what we're going to do is we're going to take away its scary face technique right here. This guy is a pure attacker. A very very good attacker and well let's go ahead and see what we got with good old joust right here oh my god joust so here we go we still have the rough skin its defense its physical defense is pretty crap okay it's very very bad but its attack its physical attack it's right there and its speed it, it, this guy is just you know it is a scary Pokemon to go up against Oh my god, I cannot wait to start using these Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and start moving on to the next thing. Alrighty, so we are completely done with Petalburg. And now that we got Surf, we can start surfing everywhere. That means we need to start evolving our Pokemon, okay? So actually, first is first. Let me let me go ahead and buy some more repels. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we're back and we got some more repels because we do not want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. Now, if you guys are playing Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire or Omega Ruby, and you're surfing on a uh, Sharpedo, oh my god, it is a ride. It is a ride, and it's going to be fun. So, here we're going to be battling everybody. Everybody in the sea, because, well, that's kind of what we do right here. So, here we go, taking on mm, 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 Swimmer Imani, and she is coming with her Meryl. Let's go right ahead and start training our Pokemon. So... Here we go, sludge attack, sludge attack, sludge attack for the win, and there we go. We get some more points. Yeah, if we see a trainer, we're going to battle him in a speed kind of form. And why are you walking away or running away from us? And yes, they're going to be talking to us about their interest in swimming and all that stuff. So here we go, Speedo Torpedo himself, Dominic, and he's coming out with a tentacle. I do not need that kind of mess right now. So let's go right ahead and use, let's go with Jaws right now. Joss is looking pretty cool, and there we go. Swipes him away. Oh my god, this torpedo is like, or Sharpedo is just kicking butt. Okay, honestly, Sharpedo would be the one that would actually have a very good uh, nickname with Torpedo, but <laughs> nickname's already taken away, so let's go ahead and get away from that. Let's go ahead and use a Repel, and start using other Pokemon right here, like Sage of the Halo, trying to evolve it. All right. Stop moving around. Come on, big boy. There's supposed to be a mystical rock around here. Do you know anything about it? Probably. All right, let's go. Battling this guy, Leaf Blade. There we go. Sand Slash coming up, and there we go. We grow to level 35, and we're trying to learn agility. I like the moveset that we have right now. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on right here. Let's see. Maybe we should switch up that experience here to somebody else that probably does need it. So let's go ahead and give that. Let's give that experience share to Vesuvius because that's the Pokemon that I probably won't be using in this episode. And yes, let's go ahead and take that. Let's give uh, Miracle Seed to good old Sage again. And yeah, let's go ahead and start battling. 
Let's battle everybody. Right here on Dragon Ball Z. And wow, I could not miss that one. All right, her body feels lighter in the water. Feels like she's gotten slimmer. Okay. I don't body shame. All right. So here we go. Taking on Beverly. She's coming over the wingle. So let's go straight for a leaf blade, even though it doesn't really work much. And she's coming out with her Whalmer. So let's give, let's share the love right here with Dalsim. And strength attack. Secret power does its trick. And don't worry about secret power, guys, because it, it, you can always buy it back. And here is the mystical rock that he's been talking about. Obviously, that rock will lead to one of the Reggies that we'll be looking for at the at the end of the game right here. And, well, let's go straight for another repel because, yes, guy, you can't get enough of repels right here. And, well, let's go right ahead. There's two people waiting for us right there, a rock-type trainer and quite possibly a flying-type trainer right here. So, let's see... Give a little love to everybody. Let's give Hadouken a little love. And you know what? Vesuvius needs some love too. Bring it. I'm exhausted from swimming. I'm just not used to it. I need a battle for a change of pace. I'm convinced that the sea keeps secrets from us. It does. It really does. So here we go digging on these guys. Bird Keeper, Josue, and Ruin Maniac Andres. So let's go right ahead and... Dragon Claw that, Rock Tomb that, and oh yes, a little OP. There we go. So Dragon Claw that, and Rock Tomb that, and yes, we're boosting up our stats right here. And Vesuvius grows to level 29 and is learning a good old takedown attack. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that away. Eventually, we'll actually learn better moves and stuff. And just like that, we win again. So there we go, guys. After getting the serve technique, it just it opens up everything. And yes, he's weak. Register him to the Pokédex or the Pokénab and all that crud. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that. Found ourselves a big pearl. And let's see. Hold on just a sec. Let's go right ahead and move on ahead right here. Oh, yes. Yeah, so you could hear Sharpedo's yell. Definitely love it. It's so menacing. And again... Yeah, it's a menacing Pokemon right here. Especially when you're playing it in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It is a scary Pokemon to get away from because it's so fast. And here we have... Whew, I was worried the kid was drowning and I saw you. You seem to be okay, but what do you do? What do you say to a battle? All right, so let's go ahead and battle this guy. And it, here's our introduction to Carvana. Or Supposed. Now, our Supposed... Car yeah. Wait, I think we actually battled the Carvana before. Yeah, probably. All right, let's go ahead and grab this item right here. And here we found ourselves an iron. That right there, straight for defensive Pokemon right there. We should probably, you know what? We should probably give that to Sharpedo. Yeah, because holy buckets. Let's go ahead and give that to Joss. Okay, so there you go. You boosted up your, your defense. You're officially part of the team. And of course, we got to use another repel and yeah, that's, this is where the super repels come in. Let's go! <laughs> I'm a lousy runner, but in water, you can't touch me. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on another swimmer. And his name is Douglas. He's going to be coming out with his tentacool. So let's go right ahead and dig attack this guy. And there we go. Dig attack for the win. And Douglas has been defeated. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we're, we're finding everybody and battling just about everybody right here because we need to gain that strength guys we've been slacking on our we've been slacking on our training just a little bit and just like that we defeated her now my question is why is every swimmer girl have red hair it's my question right there comment down below and surf and I think yes okay so now that we're here we got one thing that we need to complete into the into granite cave I believe Yes. Uh, although I do need a Pokemon that knows uh, Flash, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so now that we got the Acro Bike, or I should say the Mock Bike, we can do something right here. It's not that big, but we do need a Pokemon that has a Flash, and we do need the Mock Bike for this particular uh, event. Now, when we went through this the first time, 
there was an there was a little muddy area uphill that we couldn't get to. Obviously, the mock bike can help us with that, and it is located right here. This, of course, will bring us to another area of this granite cave, and you will be able to find some items such as repels, which, well, we're kind of using, and there's nothing right here. And I do believe, yeah, that those those areas right there, those little stone panels that break away. Holy crud! Okay, and there we go. And of course, we have to go. We have to go straight through this whole thing. It's just like the. It's just like the uh, Mirage Tower. It's ridiculous. So let's go ahead and try this again. Now remember, you have to memorize this, the area, like the steps of where it's at. So here we go, and there we go, and bam! Oh, nearly got to that area. And this will be. This will lead us towards this part right here. I don't think there's a hidden item around here. Let's see. Let us see. Um, item finder. There's an item right here. Huh. There should be something right here. Or it's probably in the other area. We'll find out. Okay, so this one... I don't necessarily know where, where I'm going, but let's... Ooh, crap. Okay, so there is a stone right there that will mess you up. So, luckily for us, we are... Yeah, we're in the middle. And there we go. Okay, so that was my first try. And let's go ahead and use another repel. Let's see. Repel does us good. And we go in here. Find ourselves a rare candy. Which, well, it could, use, it could be useful. And here is the other item that's been hidden. The Everstone. Now, other Pokemon that you can probably find in here. I believe it's a Mawile that you can find in here. So, I think that's pretty much it for this area. I'm going to use the escape rope to get out of here. And then we'll be surfing along the next area right here. So, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so we're back, guys. And now we're going to be surfing on our way towards another area right here. And I would love to use that rare candy for Sage of the Halo. But I'm pretty sure we're going to evolve them right here. So... This lady right here is asking for a little town named Duford. Obviously, it's like right there towards her right side. So, we're going to be taking on Denise and Sage of the Halo. Let's go right ahead and just evolve already. Let's go. I'm going to just evolve this Pokemon. And yes, we have defeated Denise. I wonder if she'll give us her phone number. No, she won't. Okay, so here we have another Speedo Torpedo. This is like my backyard. You're definitely not the first one that said that. So, there we go. Taking on... Swimmer Tony, and he's going to be coming out with his Carvana. So let's go right ahead and uh, do that and take a few hits here and there. Okay, so he, yeah, shocked him to the bone. He is uh, going to register himself right there. And we got a double battle ready for us right here. So let's go right ahead and switch out. Let's go, let's go with Dulcim. Okay, Dulcim needs some love too. And we're going to be battling these two people on a two on two battle. All right, bring it on. So here we go. Sis and bro, Lisa and Ray. Let's go ahead and speed this up right here. And secret power on that. And there we go. And Vesuvius grows to level 30, which is great. And Dalsim grows to level 32 and is learning high jump kick. So this is a very, very good move. And holy crud. Okay, so like I said before, guys, secret power, you can buy it again already because you already bought it or you already got it so everybody it triggered the person that you'll you'll get it from i'll show you in a little bit but there you go doll seems at level 32 high jump kick one of its more powerful moves and well let's go ahead and start battling this guy right here i like i hate the fact that they're ignoring me <laughs> okay so let's go right ahead and take on darren right here showing his abs coming out with his tentacle i'm going to dig and my question is, how do you dig under on the water? I just want to know that. And here we have another one. And there we go for the blow. And bam. Sage is finally at level 36. And, well, <laughs> took us a while, but it finally did it. There we go. So here it is, guys. Our second evolution of this episode. Sage of the Halo is finally reached its final... Uh, its final form right here and hopefully you know hopefully it will be uh, a much better pokemon right here because god dang 
I normally evolve my uh, my my starter Pokemon, like fully evolve it by the time we hit our dad's gym. But holy crud! And well, Sceptile, how's it going? All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Sceptile, right here, Sage of the Halo. Brave nature and everything. Does have some good stats. Still keeps its speed. As you guys can see, it is both a special and physical Pokemon. I'm happy about that. So now, let's go right ahead. And... You know what? Let's go ahead and try and evolve Vesuvius, because I believe... It needs three more levels to evolve. It does have the experience share. Let's go with Hadouken up front. Yeah, let's get Pokemon evolved right here. So, let's go... Oh, wow. We got two. Okay, so, let's see. Uh, let's give Venom two a little love. I know that I'm lacking on, on Venom, but let's go right ahead and take these guys on right here. Bring it. Okay. I don't care what they say. I just want to battle. And... There we go. Let's go ahead and battle these guys. Cameron and... I can't remember the other person's name, but it's okay. Alrighty. So... Let's go right ahead and Dragon Claw this guy, and let's go ahead and sludge that one. Okay. There we go. I don't know why you try to recover. And yes, you are hurt by... Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and do that. And obviously, Star User trying to evolve or trying to level or trying to gain some, uh, some HP. So let's go Dragon Claw that, and there we go. And Venom has grown to level 26. I do believe that right there is a big one because Venom. <laughs> Look at that. Venom is finally evolving. Holy buggets. Now, I know that we've uh, kind of did. Like, we kind of put him to the side right here, but damn, it took him a while. But Venom right here has been proved like it, it has proved to be a very good pokemon on our team so here it is guys venom has evolved into swalla and yeah okay so evolving it actually gains the move body slam this is pretty big right here oh my god oh god oh man rock smash why do you have to do this to me okay so i'm going to take away poison gas for the time being yeah okay so there we go body slam Holy crud, Bucket. Look at this. Let's, let, let's go ahead and see our next newest Pokemon right here. So, here is Swalot. And it does have Liquid Ooze, draining, causes injury. And, yeah, it, it has a lot of HP so far. And it's mainly a defensive Pokemon right here. So, uh, we're going we're gonna to do some good right here with this Pokemon. I'm a little excited, to be quite honest. A little excited about the, that Pokemon right there. So... Let's go right ahead and try and get the trifecta right here. Let's get Vesuvius to evolve. Come on, man. You got the experience share. And I know that we're going to be taking on a lot of water trainers right here, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, bring it on. Lexi. Love the sea! I forget all of my worries when I swim. Okay. Alright, let's battle this Pokemon trainer. And... I wonder if magnitude does work, and yes, it does. Okay, so that's a, that's a good victory right there for us. Now, again, if you guys are brand new and all that crud, um, thank you for actually joining my channel and uh, putting on the good comments of my, like on everything that, that I do right here. I know that you know sometimes I get a little too ahead of myself when it comes to uh, some of the walkthroughs right here, and amnesia is a pretty good move right here. So let's go right ahead and take away that. So yeah, I know I get a little too ahead of myself, but um, this is my, well, I would have to say phase two, phase three. Um, officially, this is like my fourth, yeah, my fourth time going through Pokemon Emerald um, as Draven XC711 and as Gym Leader Draven. But this one right here is the definitive one because of uh, what I'm planning on doing later on, and that is, you know going into different games and trying to, you know, do better in them, if that makes any sense, I don't know. Uh, we got Pokemon Coliseum that's working now, and I do feel as though they, I, I can bring in this team onto Pokemon Coliseum if I can find a way. And well, look at this guys, we are in the abandoned ship, 
So we're gonna find a little bit of a something something right here. And you go in here. Oh, and I stepped in there. Okay, so now the abandoned ship doesn't really have a purpose in this game or in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. What you need to do is you need to find like two things and that's pretty much it. Um, after that, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's whatever. I mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't really have a lot of things to say about this game, uh, about this, this place right here. It's just, uh, you know, that's, that's how it is. And I just realized something. Holy crud. Yeah, so, Swalla is a, yeah, can get affected by, yeah. Okay, so let's do that. And, yes, Demetrius and the lady right there. So anywho, um, what I was saying, yes, this place has no no backstory or anything to um, to this game. At the very end, you get yourself a choice of, of an item, a, an evolutionary item for a course, not a course a lot, but a clam pearl and all that stuff. But in the Pokemon games after that, the remakes, it is home to two legendary Pokemon. And this guy right here appears to be in cabins. Okay, yeah, it appears to be... Yeah, this, this place eventually becomes, you know, useful. It's legendary Pokemon that you find. And the pseudo-legendary Pokemon you find in there, too. And that right there is empty. Uh, no, you will not find any Pokemon in here. Except for people who want to battle and all that stuff. And, yes, he is happy to be here. And, let's see. Yeah, we got a person who wants a battle. When we go out to sea, we sailors always bring our Pokemon. How about a quick battle? Okay. All right, so as always, we're gonna be speeding through, and we're taking on Duncan, and he's coming up with a Spiel. Now, Spiel is a Pokemon that I've been wanting to use, mainly because it's an ice and water type Pokemon, and I don't know, I don't know, just the way like it, you know, knowing my luck, it's gonna be a little too late to actually find it and all that stuff. So, I'm sticking with what I know will get me through this whole game right here. And well, let's see, talk to this kid. It's a ship. Okay, so now there's going to be some doors that are going to be locked. And the perfect place to go exploring. I bet there's some treasures on board. Yes, there are some treasures on board. This one right here is a dive ball, which can be used to capture Pokemon undersea. And let's see. I think we can find that. Yes, we found ourselves an escape rope. And, well, let's see. Right here, you'll be able to surf. But if you guys see the, dark, uh, the darker blue area right there... We won't be able to go through that until we actually get the, uh, what was it, dive technique. And this guy is throwing up. That is not good. And this door is locked. So we actually have to find the storage key for that. And before we battle this kid, we're going to battle these two. Strength and compassion. Those are trainer straight treasures. I'm not good at swimming, but I'm good at battles. Okay. Bring it. So here we go, taking on... The Ruined Maniac and Tuber, and they're, they're going to be coming out with some pretty good Pokemon here, too. I am going to go with that, and I'm going to go with that. Okay, so we're going to be physical with both these Pokemon. And Vesuvius grows to level 32. Let's go with this and that. Okay, so there we go. We have defeated them both, and we got ourselves one more level to go. And I seem... Yeah. See, hold on just a sec. Grab this, found ourselves a revive. And we're gonna go right here, that's empty. And yes, we, you know what? We're gonna do it the natural way right here. We're gonna evolve this Pokemon naturally. Let's go right ahead. And Kara and Dan want to battle. Now, I don't know how many more experience points we can get with this guy, but let's see. Let's go with an Ember attack and Sludge attack on them. And there we go. And just like that, we defeated them both. Yeah, not a lot of experience points, so... After that, we get ourselves their phone number, too. And we're gonna be battling this kid. God dang it. Okay, god dang it. You know what? He's fast for his little his little feet. It's a little funny! Okay. So here we go, taking on... Tuber Charlie, and he's coming out with a Meryl. Okay. Let's go right ahead and use Vesuvius yet again. We are close to evolving right here, so let's go with a Magnitude since it's not a double battle. And just like that, we have defeated this Pokemon Trainer. And let's see. 
We're gonna go towards the very end of this area, and you'll find a guy that works for Professor or Captain Stern. He's like, I'm investigating the ship on behalf of Captain Stern. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I haven't had any success. And, well, we found a storage key. That's step one. Step two would have to go back to the storage. Unfortunately, that is all we could do for right now since we don't have sir, uh, we don't have dig or dive, I should say. Dip, dig, dive, and uh, well, right there. Dip, dive, duck, and dodge. Dodgeball. Go here. Found yourself a TM13 ice beam. A very very powerful move. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Are you going to teach uh, Joss that? Not really. We're gonna keep that for you know a rainy day. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna use escape rope, and we're gonna be moving on towards the next adventure. Lexi, the next adventure, Dalsim. I'm looking at I'm looking at you, Dalsim. So the majority of my Pokemon evolved. I'm gonna let me let me see. Let me see. Lexi. Okay, so Metatite right here evolves at level 37, so there's no way it's going to evolve in this episode. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take that experience share, since it's so close to evolving, and we're going to give it to Dalsim. That way it can actually, like, you know, grow. It can actually grow to the next step right here. So here we go. Dalsim's getting that. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Soft sand. Yes, we need that. Let's give that to Vesuvius, and let us move on to the next area right here. And we got two people. Wow, with the amount of people that we're going to be battling, I think we should uh, be able to evolve both, but we'll see. All right, bring it on. I took huge pride in my Pokemon. We'll show you one speedy battle. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love water-type Pokemon. I love other Pokemon, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and speed this up. Battling these two guys right here, and we got a magnitude, and let's go with a strength right here. And just like that, we defeated two Pokemon, and okay, so this is going to be very, very tricky because, yeah, oh crap, baskets. Yeah, okay, so let's go with Jaws, and I, I do need to, uh, yeah, I do need to revive my Pokemon right here because I think... Yeah, we need to evolve. We need to evolve him to Super Potion for this guy, and Super Potion for Dalsim, and let's go Slash Attack. And wow, we're getting our butts kicked right here, right there. And there we go. And there we go. Vesuvius gets some points. Dalsim grows to level 33. So let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Actually, hold on. So Vesuvius is going to fight. Let's go with that. And Pokemon. Let's go with Dalsim right here. And there we go. Magnitude 10. Wow! Kills everybody, and it's gonna evolve. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. Okay, so that that is that. And there we go. Vesuvius is evolving. That could have been a lot of experience points for for uh, Dalsim. God dang you, Dalsim. Yeah, I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm thinking that Dalsim is a... <laughs> oh my god. What did I do? What did I do? Okay, so there we go. We got ourselves in our next evolution. Vesuvius has evolved into Camerupt. And this Pokemon right here is learning Rock Slide. This is a very, very good move. Let's go right ahead and take away takedown because it's, yeah, it's not really needed. There we go. Poof. And poof. There we go. Rock slide for the win. Oh, God, Dalsim, seriously. You are a Pokemon trainer's nightmare. Okay, so. Okay, so Dalsim, you could have, yeah, it's at level 33. And, well, let's see. Level 33. We should probably give it the yeah. We should probably give it the uh, the experience or not the experience here, but the rare candy, just to get it close enough right there. So there we go. Dull seems at level 34. And let's grab this. Found ourselves a star piece. 
There we go. Let's mainly use Dulcim now, because I kind of want to make it a 4P, and I kind of have an idea where to do it. This is the reason why we're, like, expanding this episode right here. So let's go right ahead and switch it out. And let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Dalsim. As you guys can see, does have magma armor. This prevents it from freezing. And it, yeah, as you guys can see, it's a pretty good, it has pretty good moves and all that stuff. I am excited about these two Pokemon. And it's funny because we're using both of uh, Team Aqua and Team Magma's uh, signature Pokemon right here, which is pretty cool. And why are you running away from me? Good gravy. Oh, you gotta love this. This is where we evolved everybody. My dream is to swim the world's seven seas. Yeah, but they're sharks. Don't wanna, I don't wanna get eaten by sharks. So here we go, taking on Jerome and well, man, if you had a, if you had a psychic type attack, that would have been awesome. Okay, so this guy does have a pretty good Pokemon and it helped us out a lot. Let's go right ahead and find some more fights that we can pick on. This right here, we got double battles all over the place. Let's not use Vesuvius. Let's go straight for Hadouken. And let's go right ahead and just surprise the crud out of these people right here. For a guy who's macho. Oh, okay, so let's switch this and let's go right ahead and start doing things. Look at that. Okay, so do that. And actually, let's, let's cool off on the high jump kick and do that. And there we go. Gee, was criminy. Okay, so we're gonna have to hit it with everything we got, and... Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god, Dalsim! <laughs> oh man, you guys are already getting an idea that this Pokemon is just trash! Oh my god, okay, you better be worth it, homeboy. Alright, this one... And... Dragon Claw. Damn you, Skarmory. And... Leaf Blade. Dragon Claw. There we go. What in the mother? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah. This Pokemon is getting on my god dang nerves. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon. Uh, Dalsim. And let's go with an Ember Attack. And let's go with High Jump Kick. Ember Attack. And there we go. Skarmory. Dalsim's at level 35. Holy buckets. Okay. Let's go strength attack and let's not worry about the rest right here. And there we go. And just like that, Hadouken. <laughs> oh my god, Dalsim. What is the matter with you, man? So it's at level 35. We better find another rare candy. Oh my god. This episode this episode is just ridiculous. And here we have a PP up. Okay. Yeah, this episode's all about evolving Pokemon in my life stories. Holy crud. Okay, so here we have another couple. Before I, you know, launch myself in there, let's go right ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, use Super Potion right here. Now, my Pokemon are powered up. They should have been this powered up going into the next uh, gym. Alright, let's go ahead and just take on these guys. They're totally in love. Strength. Ember attack. And there we go. And there we go, and there we go, and that is how you do it. Okay, Dalsim has grown to level 36. Wow. So we're close. We are close, guys. And let's see, there is a trainer right here. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna, yeah, it looks like we're gonna do it. Okay. Let's bring it. So here we go, take it on Alice. And she's gonna be coming out with a Goldeen. Hopefully we do not faint. There we go. Taking on another Goldeen. Let's go with a Strength Attack and another Strength Attack. And just like that, bam. We're getting closer and closer. And there's a Pokemon wanting to take on us. And here we have another Wingle, which I do not want to battle. Let's see. Talking to her, little kids can start can dart around so quickly, so don't you dare take your eyes off them for an instant. It's very taxing. Mine are with my Pokemon, so they should be okay, but and hi, big trainer. Will you battle with me? Of course. That was supposed to be a double battle. Okay, so here we are taking on a tuber. Her name is Gwen, and she has a Meryl, so let's go right there. Another one, and that gives us some points. Alright, Dulcim. We've been putting a lot of effort in you. That way you don't faint. Alright, 
Yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and just do this. Oh, we have no, we have none of that, and, well, look at that. We are inching closer to level 37, and there should be something right here, I don't know. Okay, so, looks like to me we need one more battle. One more! And he's talking about his abs, holy crud, okay. Bring it on, alright. And he's got two Pokemon, so this should, this should do it. Let's go with a high jump kick. That does it. And bam! Level 37. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> oh. So there we go, guys. Three Pokemon, or four Pokemon evolved. And all it took was a bunch of uh, swimmers to, to do it. Holy crud. Okay, so there you go. Rough skin hits us. Dulcim grows a little bit. And there you go. You flubbed out, homeboy. Okay, so here is another evolution, guys. The final evolution of this episode. Never really thought it would be possible, but there it is. Dalsim is finally growing, and this should have been like, you know, this should have happened a few episodes ago. This? Yeah, we should have been prepared for our fourth or our fifth gym battle, but no, nah. We're doing everything right here. So here it is, guys, Metacham. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Metacham. This guy, as you guys can see, it is both a special and physical attacker. Best of both worlds, it's defense right there, speed. Special defense is right there. This Pokemon, I've been wanting to use for quite some time, mainly because of its combination, um, its combo, uh, its dual typing and all that stuff. And, you know, in this generation right here, Fighting type Pokemon seem to be my favorite in this whole region because you got a fire and fighting, a grass and fighting, and a psychic and fighting. That right there is you, you you just can't beat that. You can make teams around that. And well, we finally did it. We're back. And it looks like to me we're not gonna be doing anything else because uh-uh. So here we are in Slateport. And if you go straight to this guy right here, he will actually sell you. Not that. Okay, so let's see. Who was it that sold you the, sh the stuff? Let's see. Berry Crushin. Yes. Did you know? Berry Powder. Yes. They added that in this generation. So I think it was one of these individuals. Let's see. Oh, look at this. You seaweed around. Okay. That's... Okay, never mind. I think it was this guy right here. Welcome. How may I serve you? This guy will sell you... He will sell you uh, Secret Power. And TM10, which would be Hidden Power. So those are two good moves that you can actually rebuy every single time. And then Energy Guru, of course, will buy it, will sell you energy stuff. And well, let's see. What if I go? Of course Dulcim is not gonna like me because it's been fainting all this time, but let's go with Sage of the Halo. And you have to go for it a little harder. Never mind. Okay, so our Pokemon don't like us right now. And you can buy some dolls right here, which is cool. So that is that. I just need to move up a little further right here. Okay, so Slateport City, how's it going? How's it hanging? I've already been in there. Let's go right ahead and go straight up to Mauville City. It's usually our favorite place to go, I think. I don't know. And luckily for us, the guy right here won't time us right here. He'll time us on the crashes and all that crud. And everybody's on the like everybody's in the way, so it's just like you know. I wish I had a button where I can push people in the uh, out of, in the way and stuff. And well, let's see, right here. And look at that. Okay, so there is one more thing that I kind of want to do before we we take off on this episode, and that is after defeating the fourth gym leader or the fifth gym leader. You will be seeing our good old buddy Watson. He's gonna be like, oh, Draven, you look like you have a lot of zip. That's a good thing. <laughs> Fine, I've decided. I need a favor, Draven. Mauville City has, a, has an underground sector called New Mauville. Draven, I'd like you to go there and switch off the generator. The generator has been running a bit haywire. It's getting unsafe. Here, Here's the key uh, to get into New Mauville. And here we get the basement key which will actually open up new Mauville. And, well, what we're gonna do first, guys, is we're gonna heal up 
and we will be at the same, the exact spot to actually get to new model. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go straight to new model, and. There really isn't anything too big in there, except for the generator itself. And all you need to do is just press a button. You'll be able to find some important stuff in there, so that's what we're going to be doing. Going into New Mauville. And bam, it has opened. And as you guys can see, New Mauville has buttons right here, which you can actually press and move along. Just be aware, there are Electric-type Pokemon in here, so you don't want to mess with them. Some being Voltorb, Electrode, and all that stuff. I don't think Electrode's in here, but I think Voltorb will be in here. Uh, Magnemite is another Pokemon that you can actually find. So if you guys are looking for an Electric Steel type Pokemon, this is the place to go. Of course, I could grab it and I could put it in part of my team, but I did say we're going to be using uh, Hoenn, uh, Hoenn Regionals. And here we found ourselves in Ultra Ball. And, well, let's see. That leads towards the exit. And yes, I know, I know. I'm using regular repels. Whatever. So let's go right ahead and press this button, and we will find ourselves another escape rope. Now, before you press that button, go right in here, and you'll be able to find this, which, of course, will be a Pokemon. Oh, my God. As always, a Voltorb will try and appear, so let's go straight for Sage of the Halo. Oh my god, I did a good job by evolving all my Pokemon in one episode. And there we go, Voltorb has been defeated. Yes, and of course, we're going to get paralyzed. Okay, so that's that. Go ahead and press that button right there. And we are going to be looking for one of these Pokemon right here. Obviously, one of these Pokemon, or one of these Pokeballs is going to be, um, what's his name? Voltorb, so... We're going to find a para Paralysis Heal, which, you know, will work, and there we go. So let's speed it through and get rid of these uh, abominations, and bam. Okay, so now if you press the button right here, it will lock you out. And, of course, I'm going to get attacked by Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and use a Repel right here. And press this button. And that will lead straight into another room. And that right there is another Voltorb, so there we go. Thankfully, we got uh, Vesuvius helping us get ourselves a full heal. And press this button. And there we go. We are inside the area where the generator is located. Now, you go right here, you're going to be finding yourself a Thunderstone. That can help any kind of electric type Pokemon evolve. Not any, but specific electric types. Now, as you can see right here, the generator is radiating heat that can be felt even in, at a distance. It looks like it should be turned off as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and press this button, and bam. Generator is off. That's all we need to do, guys. So, thankfully, we got an escape rope. And this will actually help us get out of this location. And... You know, the funny thing is, that is a very good spot for an Electric-type Legendary, but unfortunately, there are no Electric-type Legendaries in this generation, I believe. So, let's go right ahead and... Hell, it could even be a good place for, like, you know, in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So, after completing the new Mauville events, you can go up to Watson, and he's gonna be looking at you, he's gonna be like, <laughs> I knew it, Draven! I knew I had made the right choice by asking you. This is my thanks, a TM containing Thunderbolt. Go on, you've earned it. And there you go, guys. We get ourselves the TM24 Thunderbolt. And it pleases me to know and to see the young step up and take charge. Hmm. Okay. Anywho, guys, this has been a very long episode. And, well, it came out to be a very, very good thing because look at this. From one episode to the next, we went from having... Pre evolved forms and a weak team to a nice formidable team right here. By having Vesuvius, we have uh, Dalsim, Joss, Venom, and Sage all evolved. So that's five out of six. Never really had that in, uh, in, in my whole walkthrough. So I hope you guys are happy with that one. Very good way to end off episode 20. So, anywho, guys, stay tuned. In the next episode, we will be going straight to, let's see, let's go and see what the next route will be. In the next episode, we will be crossing Route 123, I believe, 
into the next area, which will lead into Route 18, 118, 119, and all that stuff. We're going to have lots of fun, guys. Finally, we can go into the next areas of Hoenn, and the match call right here, as you guys can see, you can now start battling people after winning the fifth badge. So, if you guys want to train, there it is. You can start training. Anywho, this has been our episode, guys. Thank you guys again for being patient, for being uh, supportive and all that stuff. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, our button's right there on the near the description, I believe. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time as we go into Route 124, 23, whatever the 100s are, are there. See you guys.